Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Continuing with our organic uh, series, we are looking at the uh, physical properties of organic compounds. We are talking about melting and boiling points. Now, to just highlight the main points, we want to know when will you have a greater melting and boiling point and when will the melting and boiling point be less. Now, the bottom line is that if you need more energy, if more energy is required, if more energy is required to break the bonds, then the melting and boiling point will be higher. If you need less energy, then the melting and boiling points will be lower. Now, there are two factors that increase the amount of energy required to separate molecules. The longer the chain, so the longer the chain that you have, the more energy required to separate the molecules, the higher the melting and the boiling point. The other point is that if you have hydrogen bonding and you compare it to Van der Waals forces, so Van der Waals forces are smaller or weaker, rather weaker forces than hydrogen bonding. So if you have a compound that has hydrogen bonding and you have another compound that has Van der Waals forces, then the compound with hydrogen bonding will require more energy to pull the molecules apart. So therefore, compounds with hydrogen bonding will have a higher melting and boiling point. But if a compound has Van der Waals forces, then less energy is required to separate the molecules, so they will have a lower melting and boiling point. Now, the reason that the longer chain has, the longer the chain, the higher the melting and boiling point is because there are more places, there are more points of contact. There are more places where Van der Waals forces can take place. So if you have a shorter molecule, there's just few spaces where another molecule can be in contact with it. But if you have a longer molecule, there are more places uh, are available. There are more contact points for other molecules to be attached to it. So therefore, more energy will be required to separate them because there are more points where they are in contact with each other. So the uh, typical example will be, if you look at this uh, table, for example, many a times in the exam, they may ask questions and they'll give you a table. So let's just do a small comparison. If you look at methane and if you look at ethane, so methane has one carbon in this and ethane has two carbons in its chain. So we can say that ethane has a longer chain. It's longer. So because it is longer, there will be more points of contact between other ethane molecules. So therefore, if you go back to what we said, the longer the chain, the higher the melting and boiling point. This is because there are more places where Van der Waals forces can occur. So because more Van der Waals forces are, 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 are um, present, more energy is required to separate the ethane molecule from each other than the methane molecules from each other. So therefore, if you look at the boiling point, the boiling point of ethane is higher than the boiling point of methane. Okay, the minuses can be confusing. Compare methane, say, to pentane. If you compare methane to pentane, we see that the energy required to separate the pentane molecule is a positive amount, 36 degrees. So lots of energy required. But methane is minus 164. Its minus is very small. So by comparing methane to pentane, we can see that the longer the chain, the higher the boiling point because there are more points where Van der Waals forces occur. So more energy is required to pull the molecules apart. Now, taking the second example, if we compare methane to, say, if we compare methane to methanol. Now, here we see because of the methanol, the OH group, it means that methanol has hydrogen bonding and methane is just an alkane. So, because there is the presence of hydrogen bonding in methanol, we see that the boiling point of methanol is 65, whereas methane is minus 164. <coughs> so there's very little bit of energy required to separate the methane molecule, but to separate the methanol molecule, because of hydrogen bonding, the boiling point is higher, so more energy is required. You can even compare methanol to pentane. We see that the alcohol, because of hydrogen bonding, has a higher boiling point than 
uh, from the valve forces found in pentane. So we can say because of the hydrogen bonding in methanol, it is stronger than the van der Waals forces. Thus, compounds with hydrogen bonding that have the OH molecule as an example will have a higher boiling and melting point than alkanes that only have van der Waals forces. And this again is because more energy is required to pull the molecules apart. So basically, here is uh, the proof in the table form that hydrogen bonding has higher boiling points than alkanes or alkenes because more energy is required to separate the uh, molecules of hydrogen bonding from alkanes. Similarly, if you have alkanes and alkenes, alkenes have double bonds, whereas alkanes have single bonds. So more energy is required to separate the double bond and the single bond, so it will have a higher boiling and melting point. And the second point is that the longer the chain, the higher the boiling point. And that can be clearly seen where we have the five uh, carbons in a line here. That is, the carbon chain increases, the boiling point increases because more energy is required to pull the molecules apart. And the reason that more energy is required to pull the molecules apart is because there are more points of contact where van der Waals forces takes place. So this discusses the physical properties of organic compounds. Thank you very much.